Welcome all designing test plan we learned about the different ways to add workload validating the scripts then master and slave configuration for our test and running them from the client machine and so on now in section 8 jmeter validations in non gui mode testing we will look at different options by which we can execute the jmeter scripts without using jmeter and capture its results so let's see what we are going to cover in this entire section First, we will start with learning about the commands to run the test using the command prompt. Then we will learn to capture the test execution results and monitoring the test. And finally, we will learn about a different approach where we are going to use Taurus which can execute JMeter scripts. Now this is another approach where instead of using the command prompt, we will be using a tool Taurus designed by BlazeMeter. So we will discuss about it in detail once we go to that part. But for now, let's begin with our first video, which is commands to run test on non-GUI mode. In this video, we will look at the commands that can be used to run a JMeter scripts that has been created using JMeter. So for that, let's go to JMeter and see what do we have here first. So when you will start JMeter for the first time, you will see a test plan by default. But this time, we are not going to create any test. Instead of that, we are going to use any existing one. So let's see what do we have here. So we have random and random order test. So let's open it and let's quickly check what do we have in user settings. And if you notice, we have number of threads set to 1. Ramp up period is 1. Loop count is also 1. And in terms of the samplers, we have a request which is for sign on. Then we have another sampler inside random order controller and this is for the purchase and we have three such requests and after that we have a sign off which is under the simple controller and this is the sampler for the sign off. Now before we run our test using command prompt, let's try to run in JMeter so that we can compare the test execution results and as you can see the test execution began. So it executed total 12 samplers and it executed all the samplers but it selected them randomly. So as you can see we see the second sampler first and then the first one and then the third one. Then we have a sign off and before that we have sign on. Alright so let's go to JMeter and try to repeat the same execution using command prompt. So for that let's go to JMeter and go to the folder where you have your JMeter and go to the bin directory. Now once you go there you can type the command which is jmeter then use hyphen n for non gui mode then you can use hyphen t for the test plan and make sure that your test which is a test plan is inside the bin directory and since we are going to use random order controller test i'm going to copy this jmx file and it's in the bin directory so i do not have to add any absolute path but you can do that if you have your test in another directory you can provide absolute path here all right and you can execute test by hitting enter all right and it might take some time all right our test execution began and it started at port number 4445 and at this time so we have that timestamp also it might take some time so we'll skip to the end where we will see the result on the command prompt Alright, so here is the summary of the test execution. So if you notice in the summary we have 12 number which is the number of samplers it executed. Let's quickly compare what do we have in JMeter. So if you notice here also the total number of the samplers is 12 which matches. Then let's see what do we have. So here it took around 0.8 seconds to run the test. Then we have the average time it took per sampler. Then we have the minimum time and the maximum time and so on and the timestamp when it started the test and when it ended the test. So that's how you can execute your test using non-GUI mode which is the command prompt. However, the result is not the way we see in JMeter. In fact, in JMeter we have more details but in case of the command prompt here we do not have more details to analyze the data. So for that what we are going to do in the next video is we will be capturing our test result in the file format. Alright, so let's quickly summarize what we have learned in the first video which is commands to run test on non-GUI mode where we learned about executing the test using command prompt and the actual command which can be used to run the test and then we compared our test with JMeter result as well. However, we haven't captured any test result. 